everyone. Welcome to Medical City Children's Hospital. My name's Caroline. So I heard you're coming in for surgery soon. So this is my friend Rachel. She's coming in today. Some kids say they feel worried or scared. How do you feel, Rachel? Well, I'm actually a little nervous. That's okay. You can follow me and Rachel. That way you can see everything that happens before you even get here. You ready, Rachel? I think so. Great, let's go. And this is the first place you'll go. It's called the Beehive. Why? Oh, I see. It does look like a beehive. Yeah, and look, there are even butterflies on the ceiling. Oh, they're pretty. Let's go tell the admissions lady hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hi. This must be Rachel. Your parents or the person who looks after you will be with you. Rachel, where's your mom? She's right over there. Look, honey, would you like to read a book? Mom, can I please watch TV? Sure. Pretty soon, a nurse will come and get you both. She'll check your weight and your height. Next, you'll go to another room that has a bed in it. A nurse will come and wrap this around your finger. It looks a little like a band-aid, but don't worry, it doesn't hurt. It just tells them how much oxygen is in your blood. They'll also check for your blood pressure. It feels like a big hug on your arm. Around this time, someone may come and give you a bracelet. It will have your name and your birthday on it. People who come and talk to you will look at it and sometimes they will ask you to say your name and birthday as well. March 1st, 1999. So now you can choose what you get to do. You can go out to the beehive or look at the fish. What's their names? That's Puffer, that's Nemo, and that's Miss Vicky. Don't you think it looks a little bit like Miss Vicky? <laughs> hey, do you want to go check out the doctor's playroom? Yeah. A special hospital worker called the Child Life Specialist will come and talk to you. She's here to answer all of your questions and to help you not worry. Hi, I'm Julianne. Hi, I'm Rachel. This is the doctor's playroom. This room looks a lot like the operating room that you're going to go to later. The operating room is the room where the doctor's going to help fix your body. Can I sit on the bed? Sure. What are those things? These are big lights that the doctors use to see better. And this is medical equipment that you may see while you're at the hospital. You can touch it or feel it if you would like to. And now it's time to go back to the room with the bed in it. You'll get special pajamas that tie in the back. Look, Mom, the bed has wheels. That's because you're going to go for a ride on it in just a little bit. OK. Now it's time for your goofy juice. What's goofy juice? It makes you goofy. Can I have grape? Sure, no problem. The goofy juice can make you feel very silly, so you should sit down on the bed. Soon, it will be time to go for a ride on the bed. It will take you to another room. There you will meet doctors, nurses, and a special doctor, an anesthesiologist. That's a funny word, isn't it? Morning, Rachel. Hi, I'm Dr. Strands. Nice to see you. Hi. Hi, Rachel. I'm Dr. Starks. I'm one of the anesthesia doctors who works here, and my job is to make it so that you go all the way asleep for your operation, so that means you're not going to feel anything. We're going to use some medicine that we call a gas, but another way of thinking about it, it's a like sleepy air, okay? The, what we're going to do though is not like going to sleep at your house at night when you're asleep. Well, let me back up. Do you have any dogs at your house? There's two, Maggie and Daisy. Can you imagine what it would be like if Maggie and Daisy jumped up in your bed at midnight and started licking you all over your face? I'd probably wake up. Probably you would, but you're not going to wake up in the middle of your operation. How do I get my medicine? That's a great question. We're going to use a mask just like this and give you the medicine to breathe through that mask. See, it's soft, doesn't hurt. What do you think it smells like? It smells like cherries. While you're in the special sleep, the doctors will fix your body. They work in a special fix-it room called the operating room. Rachel, you can say goodbye to your mom now, but you'll see her right away when you wake up. Would you like a movie to watch? The bed on wheels will take you to the fix-it room, and before you know it, it's over, and the anesthesiologist gives you medicine to wake you up. Your surgery is all over. I'm so proud of you. Some boys and girls go home later that day, but some stay in the hospital. If you stay in the hospital, you get your own room and lots of toys to play with. <laughs> so Rachel, how do you feel? You were right. I didn't need to be nervous. The doctors and nurses here are really nice. I'm so glad you feel better. If you have any questions, just ask. Until then, see you soon. Bye. Bye.